Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the Moment 3 update for Windows 11 22H2. In this video, we're going to do a little recap of what new features we can expect in the Moment 3 update for Windows 11 22H2. And also, I'm going to share with you two possible release dates in which, of course, the Moment 3 update could be released in Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about and discuss features and updates for Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel. With the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're going to talk about some of the new features that we can expect, and at the end of the video, we're going to discuss some possible release dates for the Moment 3 update. First of all, what you need to know is that the Moment 3 update is a slightly smaller update with less features so far from what we know than the Moment 1 and Moment 2 updates for Windows 11 22H2. One of the biggest features in this update would be the seconds in the task bar clock. This is a feature that Microsoft added a while back, but until now it hasn't reached the main release. You can enable this in the main release manually using third-party tools, but as an official Moment 3 update, we will have it of course in that certain update for Windows 11 22H2, and that will come along with a setting inside Taskbar Behaviors, which says show seconds in System Tray Clock. Of course, it uses more power. This is one of the most expected features in the Moment 3 update, and also along with that, in the Moment 3 update, we could also also get the option to hide the clock and date in the taskbar system tray and along with that we will also get an option inside settings in which we can turn off or on that certain feature. In the Moment 3 update we will get a lot of live captions and voice access improvements. These improvements are mostly visible for people who are in other regions or languages. For example, I have seen that Microsoft worked a lot at improving the live captions for Chinese users and also regarding voice access. The voice access is pretty well refined now. It should work with every new aspect of the Windows operating system. And of course, these aspects are also important for people that speak other languages and for people that maybe have certain disabilities. It is very helpful, but of course, for the average user, those are not very interesting, but they are important, as I've said. Regarding the File Explorer, we will get the new access keys in the File Explorer context menus, which are basically some shortcuts that can help us access things faster, and I think that is pretty nice. Also regarding the touch keyboard, we will get some updated touch keyboard settings inside the settings app. We've talked about those in previous videos. Along with those features, we will also get the new notifications that allows us to quickly copy the 2FA codes from those certain notifications. I've made a video in which I showed you how that works. And also, Microsoft worked on updating the start menu recommended or for you section because we've had certain instances where Microsoft tried to rename the recommended section in the for you section. But I think, as I've said, these new features that are coming the Moment 3 update are not that interesting for the average user. There are some bits and pieces that could be interesting. For example, the seconds in the taskbar clock, also hide the clock and date in the system tray. The 2FA codes, again, could be interesting. And all around small updates and fixes, refinements for the operating system. All of these things tell us that maybe Windows 11 23H2 could be this year, somewhere around at the end of this year. So that is, of course, great news. Now, at the end of the video, let's talk about some possible release dates. We had the Moment 2 update release on the last Tuesday of the month of February and we are expecting the Moment 3 update somewhere in May or June and using the same pattern the last Tuesday of the month the Moment 3 update from my calculations could be released on the 30th of May or the 27th of June so remember these dates 30th of May and 27th of June these are the dates the possible dates in which we could get the Moment 3 update I saw that a lot of users and a lot of leakers online tend to believe that the Moment 3 update will be this month but we we just need to wait and see if that is gonna be the case. So this is the video pretty much. I'm hoping that you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.